Hey you guys, this is Jess with Sourceful Journey, back with another video. Uh, definitely wanted to get a couple of videos out today for you guys. Uh, yesterday I took a break <laughs> because um, I just really wanted to relax. I didn't want it to be a consistent everyday occurrence where I'm putting up like several videos within a day. Um, you know, because after a while that could actually burn a person out. It's understood. But I just didn't want to do that. So I just need to have a moment. But uh, yeah. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and jump into one of the first topics I want to talk about today, which is simply how God is truly one that wants all the smoke. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you're bold enough, try them if you want to. You just might not want to, as I said in the previous video. <laughs> so without further ado, we're going to just have a chit chat about it. We'll just jump right in. So... God wants all the smoke. That's a, a bold statement to make, but it's one that is very valid. You know, you see, the way I look at it is that God is the one that's the creator of all in terms of our everyday existence, past and present and future. The fact that individuals couldn't even think that they could try to one-up God in various ways or even try to surpass God, the creator of it all. It's just mind boggling to me. Kind of going back to what I discussed in previous videos. When you think about those who have a certain calling on their life, uh, the especially selected ones, both past and present. It's been shown through history, even up until present day, that that is something you should not attempt to do. But yet, there's still some who try to attempt to do this. You find that there are now cases where people are trying to thwart God's plan. They try to infiltrate it in some way, whether it be with doing rituals and spells. Even now science is, feels like they found some way to kind of penetrate the plan. God's infinite plan. When people learn that you can't, you can't burst the bubble, you can't burst the plan, especially if it's not orchestrated in a way, 144 as I'm saying this, if it's not set up in a way where it can be penetrated. The very person who gave you the vessel that you're in, the very person who gave you, and I say person, let me just reword that the very being that gave you the very vessel that you're in, the very being that gave you the air that you breathe on a daily basis. In what way can you, in, in what way can you compete with that? <laughs> to put it plainly, you know, I'm just trying to think of ways of how to word this, but at the same time, it's just like come out and say it like, and what, how is that even possible? <laughs> it, the, the fact that even individuals think that they can actually compete in some way or another with source, with God, it's mind boggling. But yet people still try to do it on a daily basis. The funny thing about all of this is that in doing so, as time progresses onward, God finds his ways or has his ways of making examples out of these individuals <clears throat> just for others to see. To maybe give others something to think about. 313 as I'm saying this. Just to let you know that I am God and forever will be that, be God. Again, it goes to say, in my opinion, God appears to be the one that truly wants all that smoke and he's daring you. He's basically telling you, try me if you want to. Even some of us who are a, considered a part of the chosen group, the 144. He loves to make examples out of those who like to even try us, to test us in various ways to try to make attempts on us in various ways. 
You see, people fail to realize that just because some of us may appear to be extremely sweet, and keep in mind this is all an illusion, okay? You come off as very sweet, very kind. Like, oh, they probably wouldn't even harm a butterfly, right? People seem to feed off that. They seem to think that, oh, I can get over on this one. Just watch me. Don't even know the entire time that one you're trying to aim towards and target. They already know about your plan in advance. Think of it as that notion that the hunter has now become the hunted. Because why you think that you got your eyes on that individual the entire time, that individual in some way, form or fashion actually has their eyes on you. That's the checkmate in this situation. It amazes me when I've encountered those type of scenarios over the years, even as a recent. Because again, when people sense that you have a certain calling in your life, they tend to want to target you for some odd reason or another. When they start to sense who you, <laughs> who you really are, and they realize, wait, this person isn't as soft or sweet as I thought when I first encountered them. It throws them off. They're like so confused. You can see it in terms of their actions. You can see it in how they stare at you because they're trying to read you. They're trying to figure out who you really are. Not knowing that you being that sweet person, that soft soul is in a way of trying to help shield them in some way or another. To shield them from God's wrath, little do they realize. Because you know, being a part of the chosen, you know, if in any way, shape, form, or fashion, should they try to execute some plan to harm you or hurt you in some way, you know how God's wrath goes. And before you know it, well, before they know it, this is the kicker. It'll come in as fast as lightning. They won't see it coming, as I've said in other videos. Because you may have witnessed it yourself being a chosen. What, is, what has happened to other people who've tried that, who treaded those waters and just were never the same after doing so. Kind of going back to one of my previous videos, 313 as I'm saying this. If I could sit down and give the many examples of where I've noticed things like this to befall on people who tried to put me in harm's way in some way or another, or tried to test me in some way, being a chosen. Some people would be like, wow. Some would believe it. And some would believe it and take it as a warning and won't push it any further. But then there's some who would believe it and still want to try to test it. That's the problem. And that's where God and his team, his angel team, that's when they have to come in and show you who's the big one. Because it's like now you're trying to show yourself as an unstoppable force. <laughs> When in all actuality, you're just a peon when it's all said and done. If I were to pass on any type of message to those who fit into this, this bowl as one who likes to test those who are chosen, those who do have a true calling on their life, and it's evident, think twice. Again, you guys, whenever I'm doing these videos, if I'm pausing or if you see me doing something where I'm moving around a lot of writing, it's just because I want to make sure I capture what's being what I'm what's being shared with me before I forget it. And a lot of times I pause too because I want to make sure I'm being very clear in terms of my statement. Because in doing so, um, again, I can't say it enough. For some of us to be able to actually share these messages with you guys and to do it with such gumption, with, with such a sense of surety, obviously 
there has to be something behind it, right? Four, if we were not sure about what we were stating to you guys in these videos, you can sense that. You can tell when someone is completely aware of what they're stating, like they know what they know, versus someone who's just spewing information just to get a like or two. They're not cut from the same cloth, to put it plainly. So if anything, take it as a warning. Because again, God loves it. He wants that smoke, just so he can make an example out of you. And, you know, if I had to be quite honest, I would encourage you not to do it. But if you think you're big and bad, give it a try. You're going to regret that you actually took that stance in doing so. Um, so with that being said, that's all for today's video. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts when it comes to the wrath of God. What are your examples? of maybe a time where you noticed someone tried it and it just didn't go through. Definitely uh, share those details. And oh, I wanted to give you a heads up too about another thing. Uh, consultations are still open. Um, I know we actually have, I'm not doing anything in terms of Sunday. Sunday's gonna be more of a relaxed day for me in terms of consultations. Um, sometimes I do take those appointments on that day as well, just depending on the time of the day, but um, this week, I'm just going to relax in terms of tomorrow being Sunday. Uh, but, you know, if anything, the other days that are coming up for the upcoming week, there are a few spots that are still open. Um, I'm trying to balance that out in conjunction to my own work schedule. So definitely take advantage of it if you are interested in it. I was going to say also, again, can't stress it enough, if you are having any issues with scheduling an appointment in the calendar, just definitely reach out to me by email. You can reach out to me uh, through Instagram as well as Snapchat. Um, and then I can schedule it on my end accordingly. So yeah, with that being said, uh, as always, definitely send you guys love and light and I'll see you in the next video.